Hey there car enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that many of you have asked about, can an MOT test cause your car's power steering to fail? Well, let's find out. One car owner, VT, recently took their Renault Megane convertible for its MOT test. But when they went to collect it, they were shocked to find that the power steering had completely failed. The garage claimed they hadn't done anything wrong, but VT was left wondering if they were to blame. Now, it is possible that the garage could have done something to affect the power steering system. Especially since the Megane's power steering is electric, there are a few things they could have tampered with, like removing a fuse, disconnecting the steering column, or even a control unit. But here's the catch, if they pulled a fuse, it would be easy to spot their mischief by checking the fuse box. And although a disconnected steering column might be harder to detect, it's not impossible. However, it's more likely that the power steering system failed at the exact moment the car was at the garage. Sometimes, coincidences do happen, and these older Megans are known to have power steering issues. So, in a way, VT got lucky because they would have had to tow the car to a garage anyway. To get to the bottom of this, VT should ask the garage to read the fault codes stored in the system. This will help identify the problem and suggest a fix. The most probable culprits are either a problem with the control unit or the power steering motor itself. If that's the case, the whole steering column might need to be replaced. It's not a quick job, but you can find reconditioned steering columns online for around 400 pounds. Now, if VT wants to be absolutely sure that the garage has done the job properly, they can ask to keep the old part. That way, they can inspect it when they collect the car and be confident that it has been replaced. So, there you have it. While it's possible that an MOT test could cause power steering failure, in this case, it seems like a coincidence. Remember, sometimes cars just have their own issues. If you want more expert advice and buying guides, make sure to visit our advice section or sign up for our newsletter. And don't forget to join our Telegraph Motoring Club Facebook group to chat with fellow car enthusiasts. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed this content, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more automotive news. Until next time, drive safe and stay tuned for more exciting updates. See you soon!